Welcome back guys to another video. You got Misfit Chris here and today we're going to be talking about the Sega Saturn. Heck yeah. Really excited to tell you guys about the Sega Saturn and the one that I picked up. And um, yeah, this is my very first Sega Saturn. And um, if you like videos like this, don't forget to like, subscribe, and don't forget to hit that bell for all future notifications for all future uploads. I don't know what it is about the bell part, man. I always always tongue ties me when I try to tell you guys that. I don't even want to tell you guys about the freaking subscribe and all that stuff or whatever. I'm just following every other YouTuber, I guess, on freaking YouTube. <laughs> We're here for the freaking video games, man. And uh, yeah, so um, I went out and... Uh, I put an ad up on uh, Facebook uh, that I was looking for a Sega Saturn. I've been scouring uh, the internet and uh, eBay, um, and Sega Saturns are getting expensive as um, far as consoles go. I mean, you can pick up uh, a Wii cheap. I mean, you can pick up a Super Nintendo pretty cheap. I mean, broken ones, Sega Saturns are going for like 130 bucks. You know, you can get a Japanese one pretty cheap. All that, which is probably the better route and which the way I was leaning. I did want an NTSC console just because I like the way the black console looks. And um, so I put an ad out and believe it or not, you know, I mean, I live here on Guam. So, I mean, you know, it's not like the States and, you know, so somebody reached out and they had one and I went to go pick it up. And uh, I was very pleasantly surprised. Um, I paid $125 for the for the system, and uh, I feel like that was a really good deal. It does work, and um, you know I got quite a few accessories and games with it. So, and uh, it did have some corrosion on it. Unfortunately, um, I was able to um, get the corrosion off uh, the AV port and um, AV AV cables. Actually, there wasn't really on the port. And then there was some on the controller and I was able to get rid of that. And everything is, I'm happy to report everything is working. So without further ado, guys, let's go take a look at this system. All right, guys. So I just went out. I put an ad out on a Facebook marketplace looking for a Sega Saturn. I've been skimming all night uh, looking at Sega Saturns. I've just been on the Sega Saturn trip. And um, so you know i was having a hard time limited on funds right now so just figuring my best bet way to reach out on facebook marketplace and it paid off um so we got here the sega saturn inbox pretty darn rough box don't know if i'm honestly going to be able to save it but i powered it on and um it does work and uh, I haven't like actually hooked up the TV, but the disc spins up and I got this and a bunch of a uh, bunch of Saturn games and they all are a bit rough shape, but they look like they're going to work. One controller and uh, a light gun and a light gun. So going to take it home and we're going to see if it all works. So. Yeah, there we go. That's the right side up. <laughs> As you guys can see here, the box is in rough shape, but um, I, man, I couldn't believe I got it in box and um, someone actually had to tape it on the bottom to keep the box together. But um, I mean, I guess it could have been worse, but it's pretty bad. But hey, I mean, beggars can't be choosers and um, I was very lucky to get this in the box. See on the side of here, you can see some of the really cool accessories that uh, you know you could get for the Saturn. On the other side here, you can see some of the top uh, launch games that, that were launched uh, with the Saturn. And um, the Saturn came out in 1995, and unfortunately it was a failure. And, um, but I still think the Saturn is an amazing system for the time. And um, inside this box here, um, this is why I'm kind of debating whether to keep it or not. If anybody has any pro tips on getting rid of black mold, you can see some black mold down in there. And I don't know, man, if I should be uh, even touching this. So after I t every time I touch this or whatever, <laughs> I go and wash my hands. 
but it really is a piece of video gaming history. I mean, I really wish I'd gotten a better box, um, but, you know, I mean, it's still cool that I got it. Now, here's the system, and amazingly enough, the box looked horrible, um, but the system, you know, I've wiped it down, and I opened it up, and I, you know, I blew air inside of it, canned air to get the dust out, you know, and, I, and so, you know, it looks pretty clean, and it was clean. I mean, it is a really, considering where it was stored, it was super clean. Now, here's the controller, and this is a third-party, well, no, it's, it's licensed by Sega, but done by Retrobit, because I needed a second controller for the system, right? So, um, this is the aftermarket one here that I got, or actually, this is the this is the OG here that I repaired that had corrosion on the plug port here on the bottom. So you can see the Sega logo there um, on the bottom. And the other one here, it's going to say Retro Bit. Um, but it really is a one-to-one -one replica. I mean, there really isn't much of a difference on these controllers. Um, this is considered one of the best retro controllers ever made um, to a lot of people. Yeah, see there, you can see Retro Bit. And um, it does feel really, really good in the hands. I love the D-pad. Um, the, on the aftermarket one here, the shoulder buttons are a bit different. Now here is the light gun I got, and I've tried it on the PS2. And, um, all I could do is get it to vibrate. I couldn't get it to register on the screen with Time Crisis. And, uh, unfortunately, my copy of Virtue Cop that I got with uh, the Sega Saturn doesn't work. Um, so I'm not, haven't been able to, um, test this light gun on the Saturn but it does vibrate so that's a good that's a good sign um i'm hoping this will work on the saturn see it has a saturn and a uh, playstation port here's a little up close uh, a little more up close detail on the box you can see it a little bit better and um yeah you know and i couldn't find any of these on ebay really or you know these are these are pretty uh rare this third party light gun for the uh PS, uh, PS2 and the Saturn. And uh, it's pretty cool looking. It's like, you know, there's no yellow point on it. It's like, ooh, this kind of looks like a real gun, right? So, um, but um, it has a lot of cool little features on it. You know, I thought it was really cool that it had a vibration feature. So, you know, I'm hoping to, I'm hoping that I can get this to work, you know. Um, so here's uh, three of the boxed games that I got and none of these cases are broken because these cases, well, there's a little crack I can see on the one there. But, you know, uh, these are notorious for just falling apart, you know. Um, these games are rough. I, I, I got Rampage up and running, but then for some reason it's not running now. Um, of course, the sports title discs, they're perfect. Uh, they're running, you know, nobody messes the sports titles as much. So I'm a little disappointed that Rampage, I can't get it to boot up again. But these also do have mold on them like blackish type powdery type molds so i need i'm gonna need to spray these down with alcohol and wipe them off or anybody got pro tips on mold let me know down in the comments <laughs> but you know like i said beggars can't be choosers you know i mean this was an amazing find for a really good deal now here's all the met came with all the manuals and all the packings so this uh the box and the console it came with these packings as you can see there's that black mold again so it came with Daytona USA Virtual Cop and uh, Virtual Fighter 2. That's a pack-in. So here's the stickers. This is really cool. So I believe these stickers actually are still good stickers. You can still use those. Um, so here you can see some more mold. It's, I mean, it's horrible, man. And I rinsed all of these discs off with soap and water to um, to try to, you know, uh, you know get a, bring them back, you know. And I tried you know, buffing up the discs and all that. Yeah, see, so you can see the mold there on the inside. It's super sad. And then see, this is what the humidity does to games and consoles and paper on Guam. See, it just totally corroded out the staples in this manual. And, um, you know, so, I mean, but it's still cool. Hopefully, I'm going to be able to salvage these. I got them all wrapped up in a plastic bag to keep myself safe from them. So, here's the manual. So, I even got the instruction manual. Someone literally got this console threw it in a closet and it sat there for over 20 years, you know, and it just sat there. <laughs> you know, the lady said she had it forever that I bought it from. And, um, you know, so, um, but, uh, yeah, it's really cool to have the manual. 
here for the console and everything. Hopefully I'm going to be able to repair this and, you know, maybe wipe this down and be able to keep it or something, you know. Um, or just, you know, re I'm pretty sure these manuals aren't too expensive if I really wanted to have them. It would be nice to have a box for the console. And then, you know, the Sega Saturn had some really far out uh, ad campaign, man. And I think that's Ice Cube there promoting, actually, the freaking Saturn. That's freaking cool. So here's a little view of the inside of the console, you know. Um, and so there was other, there, this is, I think this is the PAL version. And this is the Japanese version. So there was other versions of the Saturn for the other regions, and they were different colors. So here we go with a little gameplay, guys. I hope you enjoy it. And um, this is, uh, I'm trying to remember the name of this game right now. Um, but I can't remember it off the top of my head. It's called Estal or whatever. I want to say the right name. If somebody let me know it in the comments. I should have this. <laughs> but I wasn't prepared. So th this game plays through um to the second level and then it just starts um stuttering and i can't i've tried to buff this disc and it doesn't really look that scratch but i just can't get it to play to keep playing the game but this is an amazing platformer and um so if anything i'm just gonna leave the name of this game down down in the description because i can't remember it um, right now and so just go look in the description for the name of this game. I'm really sorry about that guys um, But yeah, I mean the this these uh, 2d, you know, like uh, Graphics with like some of the 3d effects going kind of going on here. I mean, it's just beautiful The Saturn really was ahead of its time. I mean the PlayStation 2 totally destroyed this system as far as the market went, you know Unfortunately, it didn't, you know, but um, this system actually does play CDs as well it will play your uh, compact disc. So this is Daytona USA, and this was also released on the Dreamcast and PS3 digitally. Um, all the ver all those versions are different. There, I think there was two or three different versions for the. They had a hard time getting this to run correctly because you can see how the the the, the, the see everything's just popping up. So the, I think they improved that later on. So as going forward, you know, it's less of that, you know. But this really isn't a bad port. I mean, people can sit. I mean. Just kind of like on the wall about this one. I mean, it's playable, and I've played it, and I'm enjoying it. And it's funny because this disc seems more scratched than the ones that I really want to play, like that platformer that I'm going to put down in the uh, description. Um, but yeah, love this. It has the Daytona USA. <laughs> you know that that uh, that jingle that plays on the arcade. So it, it's it's got the uh, dun dun dun. You know, jingle for the game just how it is so um but yeah I, I love racers and this is an excellent this is the, the one they did for the ps3 is excellent man it's all cleaned up it's nice i got that before the ps3 shop closed down but this here we go with some hockey and um you know this this 3d uh way that they did these graphics there's an actual name for the way that they did these graphics i don't know it off the top of my head but the way that they did this 3D and stuff, this is really decent. And also the World Series Baseball for the Sega Saturn, the 1 and 2, the, the, the 3D effect is really great, man. And the gameplay is smooth on this. And, uh, you know, so I would recommend uh, definitely that platformer back there. Uh, and uh, Rampage is a good game. I wish I could have got a little gameplay for you guys to show you that because that was, that was pretty cool and pretty decent. And at least I got to play it for a little while on the Saturn before I decided I want to boot. But, um, but yeah, so this is what the, I think this is 97 or something. I don't know. One of the years of hockey for the, for the Saturn, but, um, but yeah, I mean, I dig it and I, I'll, I mean, I'm going to play this. I'm going to, you know, but it, you know, it's a little frustrating until you learn the controls on the game. You know, I always get a little frustrated, you know, okay, I'll play these games for about an hour or two before, before I get the controls down. And then you actually start scoring the damn computer will start scoring on you pretty fast. But, um, yeah, so, um, but yeah, you can't go wrong with EA, man. E EA uh, sports titles on the, uh, on the Saturn here are a significant upgrade from the Genesis. I mean, I can tell you that right now. Thank you so much, guys, for uh, joining me on this video today. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, you know, so, um, so, yeah, now I'm the proud owner of a Sega Saturn, and it didn't break the bank. So, yeah, so um, I'll, I'll have an updated video on, on the Saturn because I'm, now I'm going to start collecting for it, um, you know, and Saturn can be very expensive, but, you know, you can also, um, 
get uh, backups. And um, I go to this place called Nightwing Video Game Reproductions. I'll leave a link down in the description. And um, he does Dreamcast, PS2, uh, Sega CD. So, you know, if you're interested in playing backups, that's a good place to go check out for backups. Uh, especially for the really expensive games. But, you know, there's a lot of hidden gems on the Saturn as well that won't break the bank. And also, make sure you do Japanese imports because their library was v much bigger on the Saturn than the NTSC library. Um, and that's the route I'm going to be taking on a lot of games. And you do need a RAM cartridge to play bigger games on the Saturn, some of them. And also, you need an action replay, which is the same thing. It's, it has the RAM, I, b I do believe. And um, that will also enable you to play Japanese games on your NTSC console. So don't forget that if you want to pick up a Saturn. So that's very important. And uh, they're, they're on eBay, Amazon. You can pretty much pick up that anywhere. Well, all right, guys. Um, that's going to do it for today. And I will catch you on the next one.